Bro. Bro, what the? F Yo, what is? No. No. <coughs> oh, my God. It's a truck. No, man. No, man. O o only, o only in America, bro. <laughs> Bro. Shalom, shalom. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. Here in Tampa, Florida. Um, and I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the whole folk scattered abroad. Only in America. Only in America. Okay, which America is now the city of confusion. You know, you see this trucker. He don't know what to, you know, he, he, he don't know what gender he is, man. You know, he's wearing a skirt, some boots, you know, pumping gas, but you a whole trucker. You see, and it's just showing you what's going on in America. This place is through, man. Okay, this is the fall, the fall of, of the West. Okay. Let me play it. Bro, what the? F Yo, what Look is? Look at this madness, man. No. Bro. This is absolute madness, but this is showing you why this place must be destroyed. Okay, it must be eradicated off the face of the earth because it's going only going to promote a more and more wickedness. And now America's trying to push this fornication to the rest of the world. All right, so let's grab some scriptures. And I got another video, too, showing more from the city of confusion. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 24, verse 1. Behold, Yahweh maketh the earth empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth the inhabitants thereof. You see, so the Lord has made um, this earth empty. You know, it, 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 everything is dead, you know, and it's only going to increase more, you know, death and destruction is coming. It says, and maketh it waste. This place is a total waste. And it's going to be really wasted when those, thermo when those thermonuclear missiles hit. It says, and turneth it upside down. This place has been turned upside down. E -e -e Even the people, you know, they have been turned upside down. Verse 3, the land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled for you. How I have spoken this word. And this is a prophecy that's going to happen to America. America must be utterly wasted and utterly spoiled. Okay, utterly emptied. Okay, because it's too far gone. Okay. It's too far gone. It's not going to get any better. It's only going to get worse. It says the land shall be utterly. Oh, so like the earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. These people are languishing right now, man. Which let's go into, into that word languish. Okay. Let's go into this word languish because when you actually put these things, you know, into some consideration, you see that this place is totally wicked. And as we go farther and farther in, in this, you know, wicked nation, it's going to get worse and worse, man. Okay, it's only going to get worse and worse. And really, we need salvation. We need the Lord to come and deliver us. That's our whole heart's desire is to be delivered from this wicked place. Okay, let's grab it in the blue letter. So lucky. Grab in the blue letter. Bear with me one second. Yeah, man, because it, 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 this is a, a, absolutely ridiculous. You know, it's absolutely ridiculous. It says languish. Strong's H535. A man. A man. A man. lexicon. A man. A male, or a male. There you go. What's going on with this phone? But it says to be weak, to droop, to languish, to be exhausted. P past principle of the heart, to be weak, to droop. It says to be or grow feeble, to languish. Um, by implication, to be sick. See, this place is very sick, man. America is sick. These people are sick. Okay. It says. To mourn, languish, be weak, wax feeble. 
And that's what you see in America, man. You know, these men, you know, have become, uh, have waxed feeble. Not, not now they think and want to be women. They think they are and want to be women. Okay, so let's go to verse four. It says, the earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth. So the whole world is getting weaker and weaker and more wicked and wicked. And fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The proud, you know, especially these, you know, Edomites are the most pr proud. And now they're languishing, man. You're seeing them being destroyed. It says, the earth is also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. So the people that are ruling this world... They are defiling this world, okay? And it fadeth away the haughty people of the earth. Aslakia. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and break broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. And that's what's ultimately coming to this place, America. You know, it's about to be burnt. Okay, the Lord is about to rock America's world, and this place is about to be burnt, totally, you know, destroyed and consumed in fire. And this is the, the the point of the lesson. Isaiah chapter 24, verse 10. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. And this is what you see, man. This place is sh literally the city of confusion. America is totally confused, which brings me to, 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 to this, this other tweet. As you, as you see, see, I'm on Twitter. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, the, the other tweet. Orleans, so this is... Uh, the women in the men's bathroom. This right here is a men's and women's bathroom. I forgot what he said he was at. You should be able to hear it in the video. But this is a man and a woman's bathroom. You got men and women in the, using the same bathroom, man. You know, waiting for the same stall. <laughs> you know, it's just a line. You know, this is to total madness, man. But this is where this place is going. And you see Jake, man. Jake right there in the mix. You know, they don't understand what the hell is going on, but they just laugh and think everything funny. You don't realize that, hey, man, that this right here is going to bring a lot of problems. Okay? It's, this brings a lot of problems, man. Let's bring it back. All that essence, all this. Got the women in the men's bathroom. Hey, nigga, the line. Use the bathroom. Oh, yeah, we're going to get a little footage. We're going to get a little footage. Essence 23. The women are in line. They gotta be, they coming in this bitch dick. Cause the women ain't playing. Fuck that gender shit. They can't get All that essence, New Orleans. Got the women in the men's bathroom. Ain't in line. So that's what you see, man. You got women and men in the same bathroom. Okay? And this is only in America, man. This, this is something that goes on in America. All right? It says, Matthew chapter 24, verse 14, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. So, so we're preaching this gospel for the whole world to hear. You know, and then once the whole world hear, hears his word, you have been warned. Guess what? Um, uh, then, then it's going to be time for, you know, um, uh, the, 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 the end. Okay, the end of this place that we call America is coming very soon, man. And it got to come because this place is totally wicked. It's, it's disgusting. It's vile. And like I said, the worst part about it is I think about it every day is it's only going to get worse, brother. It's, just, it's only going to get worse. Every day is going to get worse and worse and worse here. And with that, we have to seek the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah more and more and more. Okay? James 4, verse 4, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the most high? Whosoever will be a friend of the world is an enmity of the Most High. And these people, they're not coming against it. They just laugh and they just go on the flow, whatever the world do. You know, it's, you know they, they, they just go with the flow. You see? So that, that's making them an enemy against the Most High. You know? And they'll tell them what all type of stuff be going on in these bathrooms. You know? Probably, it, I mean, it, 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 it looked dirty, man. It looked dirty. All right? You got men in there peeing on the toilet seats and women going to sit, sit, sit on the toilet seats. Total confusion. But the Lord is going to, you know, put this place back into its righteous order. Right now, the world is, is, is out of order. Okay, it's completely out of order. And it's going to be put back into its righteous order. It says, this is the book of Second uh, Ezra chapter 6, verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. 
the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. So these store these stores and these you know storehouses are gonna be found empty, man. Hey, this is gonna to lead to the end of this place, man. Okay, the certain things that that this place is pushing is not good for any nation, and the Most High is against this. So what he's gonna do, he's gonna destroy this place. It says, shall the and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth. They shall be suddenly afraid. So th th this is that's what it's gonna lead up to, man. Great death and destruction. The sirens gonna start ringing, and everybody gonna, gonna gonna be afraid. All right. It says, at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and they shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs and the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. I Meaning this place gonna get completely shut down. You know the water going you know electricity and the, and the water ain't gonna be working. You know. Friends gonna be fighting one against another ain't gonna be ain't gonna be no more having a good time and the mirth of this land is gonna be gone It says whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world You see so whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee these prophecies coming to pass these plagues coming upon this place If you if you able to survive all this through the spirit of Yahweh you know shy uh, you, And shall escape and see my salvation. We want to see the Lord's salvation man Okay and the end of your world. The end. We're gonna. We're gonna witness the end of this world, man. Okay. Question. This world must be destroyed. It must be eradicated. It must be put back into its righteous order. It's completely wicked, and it's not going to get any better until the Lord comes to bring fire upon this place. Okay. It says, uh, verse twenty-seven, second Ezra six, verse twenty-seven, for evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched, and that starts with Esau. Okay, evil and deceit man quenched and put out is going to start with Esau. It says, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Okay, so this truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared, man. Okay, everybody going to come to their right minds. Okay, scripture says, those of you that, those that don't get a program, you, 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 you will too. After death by pain, man. Okay, after death by pain. So let me go here. Uh, second Peter chapter 3 verse uh, 10 when you read up it's talking about the thermonuclear missiles and the destruction that's coming to America the elements melting with fervent heat so let's go to verse 11 it says seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved all this shit about to melt and disappear what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness the Lord said who will rise up for me who, 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 will, who will speak against the evildoers man you know you 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 shouldn't be you shouldn't be at these you know uh functions and these you know festivals or whatever the hell you pe people at where well, this is going on and you just you know cool with it man and that makes you a part of this world okay it says looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the of the most high wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat you see Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth, wherein the well of righteousness. And that's what we want. We want a new heavens and a new earth, you know, a, 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 a pretty much a, a, a new rulership, wherein the well of righteousness, man. Because it's a bunch of wickedness going on here. And any man in his right mind is sighing to cry. It's lucky. Any man in his right mind is sighing and crying right now, man. Okay, seeing this garbage, man. It says, nevertheless, we, according to the, his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. All right, and that's what we want, man. We want to be found of the Lord with peace, without spot and blameless, man. But everybody else, not so much. These people are these people are filthy, and they're gonna be, you know, cleansed through that thermonuclear fire. That fire is a purging agent. The Lord sent in that fire to cleanse this place. It's like how he flooded the world, world with water and it cleansed the world. He's going to flood, flood this world with fire and it's going to cleanse this world. Okay. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom. Kwame Shawala. Ababa Ball. Press lessons for edifying. So full of Shalom.